Good day everyone, welcome to another episode in our What If series where we bring you insights in the format of a What If question on the ever-evolving landscape of employment law. I am Vipian Wilman from Masri Mule and in today's episode we will unpack what if an employee commits a crime? Is there a duty on the employer to report the criminal conduct? Now to answer this question we need to consider the provisions of the Prevention and Combating of Corrupt Activities Act. This act places a positive duty on employers to report certain criminal conduct. The act also creates a general offense of corruption, which in essence involves accepting or agreeing or offering to accept or give or offer any gratification to another person in order to act personally or by influencing the other person to act in a manner that amounts to the illegal dishonest exercise or performance of any power, any duty, any function, statutory, contractual or other legal obligation. In terms of the Act, any person who holds a position of authority who knows of or ought reasonably to have known or suspected that another person committed a crime must report this crime to any police official if an amount of 100,000 Rand or more is involved. Crimes that must be reported include any corrupt activity or the offence of theft, fraud, extortion or forgery. The question is, what is meant by position of authority? Now the Act defines a position of authority to include the following. The Director General or Head or Equivalent Officer of a National or Provincial Department, a Municipal Manager, any public officer in the senior management service of a public body, any head, rector, principal of a tertiary institution, the manager, secretary or director of a company as defined in the Companies Act, including a member of a closed corporation. Also included is the executive manager of any bank or other financial institution, any partner in a partnership, any, part, uh, uh, any person who has been appointed as the CEO or an equivalent officer, or any other person who is responsible for the overall management and control of the business of an employer. Now, an employer who fails to report an offence, as set out in the Act, is deemed to have committed an offence which may result in imprisonment of up to 10 years or a fine. So this means a person who holds a position of authority, including a manager of a business, who knows or ought reasonably to know that any other person has committed a corrupt activity or theft, fraud, forgery or extortion, must report it. The Act also states that a person in authority can face prosecution for a failure to report not only if they have actual knowledge, but if they ought reasonably to have been aware of the corrupt activity or the crime. The crime must be reported to a police official in the Office of the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, and such a report will in, uh, entail the employer personally going to the Office of the Directorate or sending an email or fax to the Directorate. Information that the employer will be required to share it will include the employee's identity, contact details, position of authority, and then the allegations pertaining to the offence. So, ladies and gentlemen, just in con conclusion, the answer to the question whether employers are required to report crimes is simply yes, if such a crime is an offence in terms of the Act, and if an amount of 100,000 Rand or more is involved. Therefore, all directors, managers, supervisors and the like who operate in either the public or the private sector are to ensure that disciplinary offences categorised as an offence under this Act and which is obviously above the monetary threshold, are reported. A failure to report may result in detrimental consequences for the employer. So that brings us to the end of this week's episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found our discussion informative. If you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. You can find us on social media or email us at info at massconsulting.co.za. If you are interested in staying up to date with the latest news and insights on employment law, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify channels. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.